Blessings my dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel, my name is Antoinette. Today I wanted to share a beautiful message with you and this is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 16 onwards. Let's get straight right into it. And it says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So we see a rich young ruler. This man comes up and asks Jesus, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So in Jesus' answer, he addresses two important issues in today's world. Number one, he says, Why are you calling me good? There is none good but one God. Jesus means that God alone is good. Many people misunderstand this verse. They think that Jesus is saying that he is not good. But Jesus himself called him the good shepherd. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. So Jesus couldn't possibly be saying, I'm not good over here. Jesus is saying, he is good. And if you recognize his goodness, you must also recognize his divinity. Because Jesus said only God is good. And we know that Jesus was blameless and sinless without committing any sin. The perfect sacrifice on the cross. The second part of what Jesus is saying here is, he says that there is none good. That means all of us are not good. So this young man was depending on his own righteousness, just like many of us are doing today. Many of us depend on our own righteousness to make it to heaven, but that is not going to work because none of us are good and all of us have fallen short somewhere. All of us have sinned. So what is the way to go to heaven? And the young man asked Jesus, which commandment should I follow? And Jesus goes on to list the commandments. Thou shalt do no murder, shall not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, all these things I have kept from my youth. What lack I yet? So the young man says, I have been spot on. Good, I've kept all these commandments. What do I lack? And Jesus said unto him, Now my friends, Jesus knows his heart. Jesus knows his heart. And he said, If thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. So Jesus doesn't just tell him, Go and sell your treasures and be good, and you can make it to heaven. No, he says, Sell your treasures and follow me. So for this man, the treasures and the riches of this world were between him and God. The treasures and the riches of the world were his idol. Just like for us, many things can come between us and God, like sin. We could be living in sin, living a lifestyle that is sinful, and that could be stopping us from coming to Jesus. So Jesus says, turn from your wicked ways of loving money and sell all this, sell all these possessions, and follow me. That's the answer. What is the way to eternal life? Follow me, Jesus said. But the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. So the young man rejected the offer. He was sad. He walked away sorrowfully. My friends, we cannot keep the law. The law was made so that it can direct us to Jesus. It is impossible for us by our own strength to keep the law. Our righteousness is rags. The law was made to direct us to Christ. The law shows us what we should do but does not give us the power to do it. Only through Jesus we can be saved because Jesus was the only one who kept the law. He was the only one who was sinless and perfect and Jesus says, follow him. My friends, all of us have sinned at some point and the wages for sin is death. Eternal death in the fires of hell. Who is going to pay that? A simple sorry will not do. We must pay the wages, can we? That's why God, who loves us so much, came down from heaven to die for us on the cross. God came down in flesh, God in flesh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the one, the good shepherd, came down 
to die for a sheep. Jesus took the penalty of our sins on the cross and he died. He paid the wages for our sins. You and me, he loves us so much that he paid the wages for our sins. He died and he resurrected on the third day. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the resurrection. Jesus resurrected on the third day. And he is coming back. He, whoever believes in Jesus will be saved. Jesus said there is no way to go to the Father but by him. He alone is the way. Because every other way means you have to pay the wages yourself. Every other way means going to heaven through your own righteousness. And we all know that no man is good but God. Jesus is our Savior. He has come to save the world from sin if you turn from your wicked ways repent of your sin his perfect sacrifice on the cross his blood will wash away our sins and once you turn and start to follow him we will receive the holy spirit the moment we accept jesus and the holy spirit will give us the power to walk in his ways being sanctified day by day from glory to glory, walking in total holiness and being saved by grace and faith alone and not by works. God bless you, my friends. I hope you make a good decision. Today is the day of salvation. Choose Jesus.